Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 here. In this video, I want to show you how to change your default sappy voice for 32-bit applications. Now, this is something that you may wish to do if you play some older audio games, for example, or use a lot of applications actually that use sappy. By default, with Windows 8 through 11, the default voice is Microsoft David. Now, a lot of these applications let you change the sappy voice within them, but you may encounter some that do not and wish to change that voice. Now, just to kind of give a brief demonstration, I'm going to open the Kitchen Zinc Games as the main application menu does use your default sappy voice. So I'll go ahead and open this up. Search box edit. Kitchen Sink app hit enter. Okay, it's loading. Dialogue. Welcome to Kitchen Sink Games. Use the up and down arrow keys or press the first letter of the game. Then press enter to play that game. Exit. Enter. Thank you for playing Kitchen Sink Games. Exiting program. Desktop folder view list view. So, as you heard there, that was Microsoft David, the default voice that ships with Windows versions 8 through 11. Now, it is possible to change this voice, however, you cannot do it in settings directly. What we need to do is open a series of folders in File Explorer that will lead us to a control panel item that will actually bring us back to a very familiar screen if you've done this on previous versions of Windows. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this. What we want to start off by doing is going to the Run dialog. At least this is how I'm going to do it. I'll press Windows R. Windows R. Sorry, this is a little slow. Run dialog. Type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you. Open colon edit combo. C colon backslash Windows. One of 17. Now that's what we want. We want to do C colon backslash Windows. So that's already filled in, so I'm going to press Enter to open this up. Enter. File Explorer. Items view list box. Okay, and now that File Explorer has loaded, Items view multi -select list box. I'll press S until we get to size wow 64. I think that's how you say it. That's what Eloquent says anyway. SCH cache, not schemas, not, not selected security, not checked. 56 of 110, checked. Service profiles, not checked. Service state, not, not selected servicing, not checked. 59 of 110, checked. Setup, not shell comp, not selected shell experiences, not checked. 62 of 100. SKB, not checked. Software distribute. Speech, not. Speech underline. System, not. System 30. Not selected system apps, not checked. System resources. System temp, not checked. Size WoW 64, not checked. 72 of 110. Okay, at long last, there's size WoW 64. And this is what we want. So I'll press Enter to open this folder. Enter. Not selected. Size WoW 64. Items view list box. Now, I should have been able to press SY, but... For some reason, that hasn't been working super reliably for me, so I just pressed S. And that's what I'm going to do again, as we want to find speech. So if I press S... Setup, not checked. Not selected SK-SK, not checked. 79 of 2845, checked. Not selected SLMGR, not checked. 80 of 284. SL-SI, not selected SMI, not checked. 82 of... Speech, not checked. 83 of 28. Okay, there's speech, so let's press Enter. Enter. Not select. Okay, so this has loaded, and so now we want to find speech ux. Engines check. Speech ux checked. Okay, there's speech ux. I'll press enter to open it. Enter. Shell and view. Items view list box. We should have something that says sapi.cpl. Sapi.cpl, and this is the file that we are looking for. So if I press enter, we'll be taken in to an old control panel item. Enter. Speech properties dialog. You can control the voice properties, speed, and other options for text dash to dash speech translation. Voice selection combo box. Microsoft David desktop dash English left parent United States right parent. 5 of 18. Alt plus V. Okay, so I have 18 sappy voices installed. But in this case, I'd like to use the AT&T voices as I do have some of those installed. So I'm going to go ahead and press A at this point. 
you have selected, selected LETDTN V1.4 AUDREY16 as the computer's default voice. And voice selection. it says there we've selected AT&T Audrey as the computer's default voice. That is such a classic line. <laughs> I remember hearing that way back. Okay, so I'm going to press Alt-V to get back to that combo box, and we'll move to another option. Alt-V, voice selection combo box, at DTNV 1.4, Audrey 6. Now, unfortunately, as soon as I press down arrow to select another voice... You have selected ATTDTNV 1.4, CHARLS 16 as the computer's default voice. It does move us away from that combo box, but pressing Alt-V... Alt-V, voice selection combo... I'll do this again, down arrow... Text you have selected a TTDT NV 1.4. You have selected a TTDT NV 1.4 mic 16 as the computer's default voice. Voice selection. Okay, there's AT&T mic. So why don't we go with him? I'll press. Well, I'll tab through this dialog so we can see what else is here. Voice speed. Voice speed. Left right slider 50. Alt plus C. Okay, there's speed. Audio output. Dot 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 button. Alt plus. Advanced dot 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 button. Alt plus. Some advanced settings. Okay, button. But in this case, we'll just select OK. I'll press Enter. Enter. Speech ups. Items view multi select list box. SAP. Now, if we open Kitchen Zinc again. Search box. E kitchen Zinc app. Hit Enter. Dialog. Welcome to Kitchen Zinc games. Use the up and down arrow keys or press the first letter of the game. Then press Enter to play that game. Exit. OK, so we'll exit as it is working. Enter. Thank you for playing Kitchen Zinc games. Exiting program. So, there we go. We have gone in and we have changed our voice. Now, there is something you can do if you want to get to this a little bit easier. So, I'm going to press the applications key. Applications. And with a bit of luck, we should be taken into a menu. Let's see. If I down arrow. Copy control. Rename F. Share for delete delete. Open with con open with some share three. Run as admin. Add to fav. Compress as copy as path. Properties edit a notepad. Show more options. Ten of ten. W. Okay, we need to do show more Enter. options. Pop up leaving menus. Items view multi -sil. run as administrator. A. Picture smart with add to favorites. Convenient OC. Convenient OC. Seven dash zip sub. Scan with Microsoft Defender. Dot, dot. And now we have our full context menu. So let's open with dot dot. Share with copy at share at restore preview. Send us up. Cut E. Copies. Create short. Delete D. Create shortcut S. And we'll do create shortcut. I'll press enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Speech ups. Items view multi select list box. SAPI.CPL check. Control panel item 237KB. Two of three. Shortcut dialog. Windows can create a shortcut here. Do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? Yes button. And actually, this is what we want. So it's asking if we want to put the shortcut on the desktop. So I'll say yes. Enter. Speech ups. Items view multi select list box. SAPI.CPL check. And now if we go to the desktop. Alt F4. Desktop. I'll Folder view list view. Recycle bin. I'll press S. Speak on media suite check. Special APH customer op. Steve's talking clock. SAPI.CPL dash shortcut check. 39 of 39. There's our shortcut and I can press enter. SSS. Enter. Speech properties dialog. You can control the voice properties, speed, and other options for text dash to dash speech translation. Voice selection combo box at DTNV 1.4 mic 16, 4 of 18, alt plus V. And there we go. It's confirmed that it's using mic. So if I want to switch to crystal, I'll up arrow. Voice you have selected and press enter. enter. Desktop. Folder view. List view. So we have done it. We have changed our default voice in, in this case, Windows 11 is what I'm using to demonstrate this, and of course I was using JAWS as the screen reader. Now, this works for sure on all 64-bit Windows 7 through 11. Might also apply in Vista, but I'm not sure about that, and frankly, I kind of hope none of you are using Vista at this point. But that is how it can be accomplished. And it's great if you have games, for instance, that use SAPI but don't let you change it. This is a way that you can do that if it was built, you know, maybe it's a bit older and it's in a 32-bit program. You can change the voice this way. So for now, this works and hopefully it will continue to work as a way to change your voice. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at Dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.